CataractCoach.com, the soft and gummy cataract. This is the type of nucleus that's difficult to chop or split. We're going to show you the complete cataract case. This is not one of my most efficient cases here. But I'm going to show you the whole thing unedited because there's a lot to learn from it. So we're starting off here. You can see this type of cataract has a lot of central or small opacities in it. There's some nucleosclerosis, but the patient's on the younger side. About 55 to 60 years old, and you can see it's not a tremendous amount of nuclear density here. So we'll make our incision. Now this part of the case, of the case is very easy. Nice incision, we'll make a beautiful rexus. But the challenge here comes in getting that nucleus broken up into smaller pieces because it has a gummy nature to it. It's not super buttery soft like a young 30-year-old with a posterior subcapsular, and it doesn't have the density you'd expect in someone who's 70 years old with a good degree of nuclear sclerosis. So in this case, as a mild degree of nuclear sclerosis, and if you look carefully, you can see there are a lot of central opacities in this lens, and that's what's causing the patient to have a lot of symptoms, especially with nighttime driving. This patient drives a lot at night uh, for the work. And so we want to make a beautiful rexus here. Of course, for a patient who does a lot of nighttime driving, we want to put a monofocal lens and a goal of Plano in both eyes, so sharpest distance vision and the highest quality of vision. Now, if it was a softer lens, I'd just say just do more hydro dissection here and get that nucleus out of the bag, get it prolapsed into the anterior chamber. But there is some density there. It's not much. But it's to the point where I don't feel like I want to try prolapse into the anterior chamber, especially through that rexus, which is probably about 5 millimeters in diameter. So we're going to try going with the phaco probe and try to chop it. And this is where we're going to run into that gummy nature. Let me show you. So here comes a phaco probe. This is me operating, obviously. Buzzing into the center, here comes the chopper. And it just kind of doesn't want to split a little bit. And I try to really propagate that chop that I made, and it kind of doesn't want to do it. So again, it's a gummy cataract. So how are we going to solve this issue now? So I'm going to try and go behind with the chopper, try to really split the halves. I'm not sure if I really succeeded or not. You know, at this point, I want to just bring it up. So I use the chopper and get underneath and try to just bring part of the nucleus up out of the bag. And kind of succeeded. So we'll try again. Now on the foot pedal, not much phaco energy. You're mostly using vacuum here. Because if you give a lot of energy, you'll buzz right through that piece and nail the capsule. So you don't want to do that. So just using the vacuum to bring it up. And at this point, once I brought the piece up, now I can give a very small amount of ultrasonic energy to help break up and aspirate that nucleus. And you see it comes up pretty easily, but again, it's gummy. I never really achieved the great chop that you're used to seeing me do here. So I want to show you this case so you can see all the whole variety or spectrum of case that we get. You know, this is one of the reasons why cataract surgery is just so much fun and how I just still love it even after more than 20 years because every case is actually a little bit different. You never know exactly what you're going to get. And that's the fun of it. So you see, we got the nucleus out. Now the rest of the case is going to be pretty routine. But you see, the nucleus removal took longer than normal for my cases, even though there wasn't that much nuclear density. And a case like this, again, being very cautious, this person who drives a lot at night, we better make sure we have a really nice outcome for this patient. This patient relies on the vision for the job, for the profession. So let's clean up that cortex. And you know, we already talked about the lens. It's going to be a single piece, monofocal acrylic lens. And we're going to aim for a distance vision goal. So a target of plano refraction or zero refraction. And in fact, I can tell you this patient basically achieved that with a near perfect plano refraction and 20-20 distance visual acuity. And this patient certainly is happy to wear glasses for any kind of up-close reading. The patient started off at about a plus 2.25 hyperope. So the patient was already in full-time glasses, and to be able to get out of glasses for a distance vision, the patient's quite happy. So cleaned up everything pretty nicely here. Take out some of that viscoelastic. You can see there's a lot of viscoelastic there up in the anterior chamber. That's up against the corneal epithelium. Because we had so little phaco energy put in the eye, and even had very little fluid running through the eye, we didn't really wash out much of that viscoelastic, that dispersive agent. So now here comes the cohesive agent going in the capsule bag. There's the outline of the rexus. That looks pretty good. And now let's deliver the lens here. So... In terms of the lens, there are a couple different choices. You could have put a different lens in. In this case, we chose the lens with the slight natural tint to it. So it's a little bit of blue light filtering to closely mimic the patient's uh, 
normal human vision. Now for night driving, maybe you'd say if the patient only drove at night to put in a lens that had no blue blocker in it, and that would be a reasonable choice. Um, this patient also, again, drives in the daytime as well, and so we want to make sure the patient has a good um, vision day and night. So again, moving the lens to the side, we'll go underneath to take out that viscoelastic, and we'll finish up this case. So you're going to have cases like this where the cataract is a little bit gummy, and again, the patient you're going to see this in is a patient who's not super young, not 30 or 40 years old with a PSC, but rather a patient who's eh, mid-50s, maybe even 60 years old, and has not much PSC, but has opacities or, or flex in the central nucleus of the lens and doesn't have a whole lot of nuclear sclerosis. And so if you see that brunescent or browning or really nuclear opalescence of the central nucleus, that's going to be, of course, more density, easier to chop. But a case like this where that really didn't exist, it's going to end up being a little gummy. And you just got to take your time, do it right, and be cautious about getting that lens up out of the bag. So even if the chop doesn't propagate, and you saw in my video here, when I tried it, the chop did not propagate. And so you're still just trying your best with the chopper to split it. If not, use the chopper and gently bring the nuclear pieces out of the capsule bag up to the iris plane. I just put some triamcillin inside the eye. Here comes some preservative-free moxifloxin as well. That looks great. Look at that overlap of the optic by the capsule rexus. I like that a lot. So maybe the rexus is more like 5.5 millimeters. It's beautifully centered. Oh, a little small degree of astigmatism, which we'll treat with that little limbal relaxed incision. That's about all it needs. And again, the patient did end up with basically perfect plano refraction and 20-20 vision. So thank you for watching. Next time you have a patient with a gummy cataract, you'll recall exactly what to do.